is work that we're doing in orthopedic rehabilitation. Um, at the moment, orthopedic rehabilitation is very challenging uh, because there's a massive pressure on efficiency in the system and patients are being left to manage their own care. So if pa patients are managing their own care, they need to get very good feedback and guidance when they're doing it, particularly when they're engaged in rehabilitation exercise. I'm a physiotherapist and rehabilitation exercise is, our, is one of the main tools of my trade. So if we're sending patients home doing exercise and we want to give them effective feedback um, technologies or interfaces, we have to make sure that the feedback that they get is based on very objective evaluation of their performance. So one of the projects we're doing here in Insight is building a very large motion library from people doing exercises of varying levels of performance. And then we're building machine learning classifiers to enable us to take data from patients when they're doing exercises in the home, on their own, match their performance against that motion library, and then give them real targeted objective feedback to match, that matches their performance against gold standard and enables us to tell them the precise deviation from the normal profile that they're doing so that we can put them on the right track. It brings the therapist into the room with the patient. If a patient then is, is going home from hospital having had, for example, a total hip replacement, the patient would bring home um, an app on their mobile phone which would enable them to put their mobile phone into a little um, neoprene sleeve on their leg when it's time to do their exercises and then they would be guided through their exercises using either an audio feedback on the device itself or um, the, a, a companion app that would be either on a smart TV or on a tablet device where they would get some visual feedback during the exercise. All their performance of the exercises would be objectively rated using this you know, smart data-driven um, classification process. As well as that, their compliance with, it, with their prescribed program could be emailed back to the clinic so that the therapist, even though they're not in the home, the therapist knows in real time whether or not the patient is adhering to the exercises um, that they've prescribed for them, as well as um, how they're doing with those exercises and whether they need to be progressed or whether they need to be slowed down a little, but essentially knowing how the patient is doing.